Hey, hey, everyone, it's Peter Katz, and welcome back to another episode of Crazy SMP. We're going to start off this episode with a bunch of random clips that I recorded last night in the Discord and Minecraft server at the same time. So I don't know, we were just chilling in a VC, there were like 15 people, and we were just kind of trolling and whatnot. So first couple of minutes is just going to be a bunch of screaming, really, to be honest. But then after that, we will go ahead and uh, work on some cool buildings and work on a new PvP purge arena. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure to smash the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And let's jump right into it. Ah! Ah! You have a stick! You have a little stick! You have a little stick. No. No! <laughs> In the corner. <laughs> Oops. No, no, not my statue. Not my statue. It didn't go in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to push this button. Oh, I need to no, push no, 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 I don't want to die. No, no, don't blow up my house. Jesus, I'm, I'm for real going to get eaten. What? That was so tame. Yeah, because it doesn't do like, for example, like that. <laughs> and yes, I am flying. I am cheating. All right, please don't swear at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm in creative mode as well. All right, we'll go like this and you guys won't be able to tell at all. But uh, yeah, look around at this mess. Um, I don't even know what to say. So I built myself a huge arena here for the purge so that people could fight. Then there was some kind of chunk issues. So this entire area got deleted. Then I think somebody tried to roll it back. It was an absolute mess. And this is all I have managed to <laughs> save because World Editor is not being configured properly with Core Protect. So this is the new PvP arena. So if you want to get involved in some fighting, make sure to come to Warp PvP because it is a pretty crazy zone. But what we're going to be doing in the beginning of this episode is working on a brand new arena. So let's go head over to another world and get started on that. Okay, so we're going to be chilling on the creative world on the server. And uh, we're going to be using this to, uh, to build. And uh, sorry guys, I do have uh, anti-swear on, so I can see all the swearing. So I apologize if you see anything that's a little bit inappropriate. I don't know, I think I might just walk you through a little bit of the process uh, for today. So we're going to be using World Edit to build this. Now, typically you would use something like Voxel Sniper to do your landscapes, but you can use World Edit as well, it's fine. So we're just going to use uh, the brush command on our golden hoe. So we'll type slash brush uh, sand and then three. And we like to use sand because it has gravity to it. But the unfortunate thing with this is it doesn't seem like the sand is affected by gravity, as you can see. So it, sh it should be updating automatically, and it's not. If you smack the blocks, then it all updates. But I'm not sure why it's not, you know, updating automatically. And I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but this is the way I know how to do it. So this is the shell, the circle, which is looking good. So the next thing we want to do is get our regular wand and come over here and select this entire region. So what we're going to do now is we are going to replace the sand with stone. So yeah, we're going to replace the sand with stone now, like a so. That is 81,000 blocks, which is looking good. The next command we want to type is slash naturalize, which will automatically make it look more natural. Like a soul, which looks pretty nice. Next thing we'll do is uh, just replace the, the stone. And I know you can use percentages, but I always forget how to do this. So we'll just go, you know, one seventh andesite. And then we'll do the same thing with the dirt. Now that looks a lot more natural, which is nice. All right, so... This is my little structure, like I'm not too big of a fan of the way it is, but it is a good platform just to, you know, jump down, and get into action. Alright, so we might just leave this like that for now then and just have 
this PvP arena be like this. I suppose the last thing is we do need to build uh, or make a, some kind of glass box or some kind of barrier box so that players can't fly away. So I think flying away is kind of BS to be honest. And now we have this box which is looking pretty lit. Uh, and we want to make it so that players cannot fly outside of here. So now we'll come up and uh, we will just fill this all in with, I think just regular glass should do the trick. Um, as tinted glass would be like way too dark. Let's we'll come here and we'll go uh, replace yeah, with just regular glass. And now that is all closed off, which is looking pretty awesome, I think, in my opinion. All right, look at this. This is looking hella dope. And I love the way the tinted glass is looking. I mean, the mossy carpet could look a little bit better. But other than that, this is looking like a great PvP arena. Uh, I would love to fight in here. Um, now, there's no real way to kind of escape danger. I suppose I could put a water elevator in here like I used to, which can take players back to the top. So I might just go ahead and do that. Now, if players need to come back up to the safe zone, which is up here, they can. And of course, you know, they can go around and explore this area, um, which is not PvP free and jump down there and be like, wow, look, I found something really cool. They can do that. I don't really care. But um, yeah, that is that. Yeah, if you, are, if you are down here in the PvP arena and you need to run away, then you can just come here and uh, work your way back up to the top. And I think that is all done. Hell yeah, I love the way this is looking. So what we're going to do now is go to the top and then copy paste this thing and stick it in the overworld. Now this is all loaded in so we want to make sure that this is protected properly because I don't know why the last one wasn't. But let's just come all the way up to here, all the way up to the top. We're going to go all the way to Y level, you know, 265 or whatever the top is because we ain't going to let anybody go up too high and destroy our stuff. I know what you guys are like. So there is no way now, RG info, that anybody should be able to, you know, mess around in this thing. So yeah, this is the new PvP arena, guys. Come to slash warp purge if you guys do want to fight in here. And this will be the ultimate spot to come when it is actually purged as well. So as I said, this area down here is all PvP active and the area up there is PvP free. So you can jump down, fight your enemies, and then you can just return back to the top if you need to protect yourself like a so. Um, but yeah, this is the new arena. Let's hope this one doesn't get destroyed because I really can't be bothered building it again, uh, even though I have saved it in a second world. But yeah, I'm probably going to wrap up the episode here. So thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate all the support this channel has had recently, and the server growth has also been fantastic. So if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe as well. We're so close to 750 subs. If we could get that, you know, before the end of the week, that would be epic. But uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode because I've got some exciting stuff planned. But yeah, like I said, it's been your boy, Decats. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace.